If you're at all survival or preparedness minded, you've probably seen quite a few 72 hour survival or emergency preparedness kits on the market. But did you know that many of the planning experts at FEMA and other places have started recommending that you keep a two week supply on hand in case of disasters or emergencies? Well, this week we're gonna be taking a look at a grab and go 25 year shelf life, two week survival kit in a pail from the folks at Emergency Essentials. That's what's coming up next here on Survival on Purpose. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose, your home for information and gear reviews related to camping, survival, and general preparedness for regular folks. My name is Brian. Thanks for joining me. So as I said, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at this two-week survival in a pail. It's, it's a survival kit in a sealed up bucket here. And the folks at Emergency Essentials were kind enough to send me this so we could bust it open on camera and show it to you and just kind of see what's in this thing and see if it's really something that could help you survive for two weeks because it seems like everywhere you turn there's 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 another another opportunity for some sort of a natural disaster and i'm not talking about end of the world and government collapse and society and all that i'm talking about just a flood or a storm or an ice storm or something that happens all the time hurricanes there's just all kinds of things that, that seem to affect our life and as our society gets more and more complex and more populated, I think it's naive to think we can depend upon the government or anybody else to take care of us. And it behooves us to be um, kind of self, self-sufficient self as much as possible. And what's the Boy Scout motto? Be prepared, right? And the folks at Emergency Essentials sent me a lot of literature and kind of ex explaining what's in this thing. And I can just read all that to you. But instead, what I thought we'd do is just we'll open this thing up and see what's in there. We're gonna do that right after this word from one of our sponsors. This video is sponsored by my friends at clickbelts.com where you can save 15% by using the coupon code SOP15 at checkout. Clickbelts feature genuine Cobra buckles. They have a full lifetime warranty and they are sewn right here in the USA in the great state of Texas. They've even got the really cool TSA friendly poly Cobra buckle now. So if you're looking for a very, very strong, very cool belt, I encourage you to check out the folks at clickbelts.com. Don't forget, use the coupon code SOP15 to save 15%. Okay, we are back with the two-week survival in a pail. Let's get down to the old stump top and see what we got. Okay, so I started this video last night and it got kind of dark. And besides, there were no dogs barking in the background, so I thought you might think it was a different channel. So anyway, um, I got the table out here instead of the, the uh, stump top because the stump top just wasn't big enough. I'm just gonna show you, give you a quick glimpse of what all is in here. So there's a lot of food in here. Let's get all the food out now. Okay, this is everything that is in the two week survival in a pail kit. And uh, also the kit has, has a seal on the lid, so it's a resealable lid. It's gonna keep this, keep this stuff um, fresh for you if you have to open it up. Plus it gives you a, a pretty good sized container here if you need an extra container or a bucket, which is always good to have. We're gonna set that out of the way. Um, first of all, let's get the food out of the way. There's a lot of food here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 packs of food plus three shakes here. We've got two chocolate shakes and one vanilla shake. And these shakes each have 29 grams of protein in them, 28, 20, vanilla's 28, and about 480 calories each. So pretty good there. And then a lot of vitamins and minerals and stuff in there. So three of those. We've got one sweetened banana chips, and this is uh, eight servings, 190 calories per serving. Two creamy potato soups, one fettuccine Alfredo, Two maple brown sugar oatmeal. These are 10 servings per container, 120 calories per servings. Three creamy chicken flavored rice, the eight servings of 240 calories each. Two hearty vegetable chicken flavored soup mix, another eight servings each for 200 calories a piece. Got one, two, three cheesy broccoli rice, uh, 250 calories each, eight servings a piece. And two Spanish rice, again, eight servings, 200 calories a piece. So that gives us a lot of food and a lot of calories. Again, average over 2,000 calories and 51 grams of protein per day. And then all that food requires water to prepare it. So we've also got this uh, water filtration kit here. And it's a bag-to-bag -bag filtration kit, which is pretty cool. It contains, um, it has both a bag that's labeled filtered bag. So this is where your clean water is. I like the fact that it's labeled there. And then this is unfiltered water so you put your unfiltered water in here you have a uh, inline filter that goes between these two bags 
and you screw the uh, one on the other. I like the fact that it keeps you from getting any cross contamination. You've got a black cap here, black end of this on the unfiltered, and then the filtered water has a white cap and a white cap on the end of the hose. So it lets you keep everything situated where you're not getting cross contaminated, but allows you to uh, to filter the water. And these bags are Aquamira bags, so they're, they're the real deal, and they're one gallon bags. So you filter a gallon at a time. I like that. Uh, also, I like the fact you could use this uh, it's full of food now, it's kind of heavy. You could use this bucket to go collect a lot of water, and then you could uh, pour it into one bag at a time, which is pretty good there. So that's the uh, water filtrations, uh, which you're going to need not just for cooking, but for drinking. And then, speaking of cooking, also comes with a cook pot, which is something a lot of these kits don't have. So it's big enough to where you can cook this entire an entire meal in it, and not just a little single serving thing. Um, has a has a handle on it, which is really handy if you're going to hang it over a fire or whatever. And then it also has a, a lid with a ring, which is good. The lid fits in there pretty well. Inside here we have a, it's, I guess it's an emergency sleeping bag. This is kind of like a little mylar sleeping bag. Pretty nice here. Uh, that, that's going to reflect your heat, body heat back on you. It's going to keep you out of the elements and, and really, really a good way to just kind of stay warm, stay out of the elements. Then it comes with a, one of these little folding stoves. And these are the, it's kind of like an Esbit style. There's no fuel with it. It's just a little stove. But as you can see, the pot will fit on very stably. If you want to cook over a fire, you could hang it like so. But it comes with three of these uh, little fire on discs, and they're really handy. Uh, yesterday, we took a piece this big, just a quarter of a size, and we lit it up as you can see here and it burned for like i don't know 15 minutes or so you can use these for a fire starter or you can just use them as a source of fuel um, you could also just add a couple of espit tabs would be really great but and then it has a box of wooden matches 32 count strike on the box matches so gotta say there is one thing that is not in this kit that i wish was in here and that is a knife just even just a, a little a, a low cost more knife you know an eight dollar knife would come in really handy of course you know what i say if you don't have a knife on you shame on you but It'd be good to, to have a knife in here just if you could grab it and go. So that's the one, the one I guess the, the biggest missing thing here in my mind is a knife. Other than that, like I said, I think they've covered all the bases. That, they've got the big three. They've got your shelter, your food, and your water. And they've even got fire in here, which is a biggie to me. So, so I really do think this would be a great addition to your emergency preparations. And, and if you could budget it, you know, if you just had one of these for each member of your family, you know you've got two weeks covered. You've got shelter. You've got food. You've got water. You've got a way to make fire. And... It's just a lot of peace of mind there. If, and if, if you had to leave your home or whatever, if you're evacuated, you can just grab that bucket, throw it in the trunk of your car and go. Doesn't take up a lot of room. And you know you got two weeks covered. So um, I think this is a really cool thing. I really um, want to say thanks to the folks at Emergency Essentials for sending me this so I could check it out. So if you're interested in getting some more details on this and checking it out for yourself, I'll put a link in the video description and probably one right up here. As always, thanks for watching Survival on Purpose. I put out a new video every Friday and Saturday, sometimes random videos throughout the week. If you want to make sure you don't miss a single one and get notified about some special opportunities coming up for the survival on purpose audience so to speak i invite you to subscribe to my weekly email newsletter at survivalonpurpose.com forward slash subscribe you can also click the little square here with a knife in it that'll take you there i really appreciate the support once again my name is brian you're watching survival on purpose remember survival is not an accident so be prepared i'll see you next time